All right, guys, before we get started with the video, I did want to mention that minutes before I actually posted this or got, you know, through editing this, Kurt Angle has actually been added to the list of superstars included in this video. Very just, man, this sucks so much. But uh, you guys are going to find out in the rest of the video what I'm talking about. But Kurt Angle has been added to the list. So if you're wondering why he's not been, you know, in the video after this part of the video, that is reason. But uh, Kurt Angle officially added to the list, man. Very unfortunate. Just, just shitty, man. Just let, let, let's get on with the video. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing something that is breaking news here today. WWE has put out a release here saying, breaking news, WWE has released Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, EC3, Leo Rush, Drake Maverick, Heath Slater, Eric Young, and Kurt Hawkins. This is obviously amidst the pandemic that's going, to, uh, going around. I think this is going to apparently save them a bunch of money, and they are making these cuts just for business purposes pretty much. Much. Not only this, guys, we had some other releases that, you know, are some notable backstage names. Hurricane Helms, Lance Storm, Fit Finley, and Mike Rotunda also all released here today. So, very sad situation. You know, it's very unfortunate for those and those families there with everybody involved in that. I know that a lot of these guys are definitely going to be picked up, but this is going to definitely, this is going to trickle down. I know that this is obviously about their careers and where they go from here, but uh, how that impacts us here at the channel, how that impacts, you know, Mattel and WWE figures moving forward is, you know, some of these figures that we were going to be getting, I really don't know what to think now. You know, just the other day, we literally made a video talking about, you know, figures that we don't have, Leo Rush, and now uh, a video ago or a couple days ago, I released on how to make your own Leo Rush. Well, now that video becomes very, very important because it doesn't look like we're going to ever get a Leo Rush from Mattel in WWE Elite Figure form. I guess you could always say never say never, but it really doesn't look good, at least for the foreseeable future for a while. That is definitely not the case. You know, we obviously already have elites of the club, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Uh, we have elites of EC3. We have elites of Kurt Hawkins, Heath Slater, Eric Young. But as far as the future is concerned, I know that we had a Drake. We uh, we obviously had a Drake Maverick figure coming out very very soon that we've seen, and that figure looked great. 24/7 Championship attire, and we've had you know we have had Drake Maverick figures before, not an elite, but we have seen his figures before in the AOPP attire. He had like his own chase variant and regular basic release in that set. Uh, we obviously have seen an EC3 elite before. And just, it is very unfortunate that we are no longer going to be getting a Leo Rush. And it looks like, again, that is going to continue. So if you missed my video from the other day talking about, you know, figures that we are, you know, that we are not going to be getting, or you missed my video the other, day, the other day on how to create your own Leo Rush, then now is definitely the time that you want to go check that out. I mean, it's very crappy situation, man. Just uh, imagine being one of those families that got released here. I know that most of them are going to be okay, but it still is very shitty situation because, I mean, I know they have like other ways to make money. Obviously, they're they're well known. You could easily make some more money doing other things, but to uh, to not be associated with WWE anymore. A lot of them obviously are going to have um, much greener pastures on other platforms. I feel like AEW is a great uh, you know selection for a lot of guys if they are even chosen. You know, I feel like EC3 would probably do better over there. Leo Rush, the club guys like that are definitely definitely could be used. I could even see Eric Young going in and getting in on the Dark Order or something. I mean, who knows? You know, if anything's possible with these guys, but that is very unfortunate. You know, the club was literally, what, on the WrestleMania main event of night one there in that Boneyard match, and then I guess the Undertaker literally just kicked him right out of the freaking league right there, man, but... That is what we're going to be talking about here today, guys. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So, you guys know that Kurt Hawkins was among one of those released by WWE, which is very, very crazy considering, you know, he is, him and Zack Ryder are big parts of the WWE Mattel figure uh, community. You know, they have the wrestling, you know, figure podcast. I'm sure that won't change. I'm sure they'll still do that going forward. I'm very interested to see, you know, how they react to that, how they are going to handle that. But what about the, the new ringside exclusive Edge figure? with the Kurt Hawkins interchangeable head, I really don't know how they're still going to make that. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of, maybe Mattel can sign Kurt Hawkins or something. I, I don't know how that works. I really don't know what to think about that. But I was really hyped for that Edgehead's, you know, three-in-one figure release. But I don't know, how how's that ever supposed to be made if Kurt Hawkins is no longer with the company? I don't know how that comes to, you know, comes to fruition. I don't know how that's going to be. So maybe that figure gets canceled. Maybe, uh, I'm sure Kurt Hawkins will still get his own copy of that figure. I'm sure Mattel will hit him up and send him one because the figure's probably already made somewhere in some warehouse or something, but 
We'll just have to see about that, but I'm very interested to see how that situation plays out. Maybe I can get some info for you guys, but very unfortunate, man. Leo Rush, now I'm definitely going to have to go order that stuff from uh, Figure Giant, man. I got to go order that stuff. I got to make my own Leo Rush and make it a lot better than my last one because this, this sucks, man. I thought for sure I was going to get a Leo Rush one day from Mattel. Now we're not going to be getting one, so hopefully I can get that made. EC3, again, another talent. A lot of people are big on EC3. I'm not a huge EC3 fan, but... Seeing him in NXT, you know, for what it was, it was, t it was, you know, it was pretty entertaining for what it was. He was in a couple of good matches here and there. That NXT North American Championship ladder match that one time was excellent, and uh, he was a solid little promo there, but uh, he just never got going. You know, they didn't really even give him a chance on the main roster. I'm sure he's pretty happy about this because I know he's been very frustrated for a long time, so it looks like a ton of talent is going to be making their way over to AEW or somewhere else because the club obviously is a great tag team. The club put it together with the Revival. That is instant just gratification on their faces because now they can go put on some great tag team matches anywhere else. But right now, obviously, there's nothing going on. I mean, I don't know where they'd show up. There's no live crowds. There's no nothing. So I think we as wrestling fans have a lot to look forward to when these live shows come back because we're going to have, you know, uh, all this new talent redirecting, going different places, getting to react live to all this stuff. So um, I know that in the end, I think it'll all work out for the best. But for now, it is a very, you know, uh, terrible situation. I, I don't know if I want to say terrible, but it's just an unfortunate situation that we're having to go through. But I'm really interested to know where we go from here with these figures. I'm pretty sure that uh, the Elite Drake Maverick figure will no longer be released. Um, any future club figures are no longer going to be released. Obviously, Kurt Hawkins we just talked about with the Ringside Exclusive Edge figure. EC3, Leo Rush, Heath Slater, Eric Young. I mean, there are some big... I mean, these are pretty big names, too. And we just got our Hurricane Helms Elite. And uh, that was literally the last series that we got in hand is Elite Series 75. I still don't even have my Elite Series 76, 77. I'm sure that Elite Series 76 was supposed to be here by now. And Elite 75, I feel like, was so long ago. It was like two months ago or something like that. So very insane what we're all having to come to terms with. But I feel like slowly but surely we are approaching, you know, the... the I feel like we've already kind of peaked on this thing. Hopefully we're on our way down now. And we can continue to gradually get back and back to normal slowly but surely. It's obviously going to be a little while. You're still going to have to have your social distancing going on, your, your masks and stuff like that. It's probably going to be a while. It's probably going to take a little bit. Um, but WWE releasing talent uh, to pretty much just save them some money, which I guess makes sense. But I, I don't know, man. It just goes on their long list of just not really, I don't know. It's just, they're just, see ya, basically is what it is. Sucks to suck, see ya. So that's basically how I'm kind of taking it. But I do think, again, we are going to see a positive side of this coming out. Um, I don't know necessarily what series, you know, some of these figures were supposed to be. Drake Maverick, I know he was an elite. I knew that. Uh, I can go check real quick to see if I can find out what series this was for Drake Maverick. I don't have any confirmed stuff on it, but I could. You know, D-Freedom 30 is always the best on stuff like this. Any figure that's posted, this man automatically knows the series. I really don't know why. Okay, so it was supposed to actually be Elite Series 78. So Drake Maverick was supposed to be Elite Series 78. Obviously, that is not going to happen no more. So maybe we'll get, I'm guessing we're going to get a replacement in that series because they're definitely not going to push that out. So I don't know what figure they're going to plug in there. Maybe they're, if I had to guess, they would probably take a figure that was already completed. So uh, the rest of that set was our truth You had Naomi. You had superstar Billy Graham. You had Matt Riddle. You had Kofi Kingston. You had Randy Orton. So I'm sure an Elite Series 79 figure is probably going to be plucked and put in there, I'm sure. But, you know, I don't, I don't know what that is. You know, we're just going to have to find out and see what exact series uh, or what figure replaces that one. But moving forward, guys, no more of these figures. Uh, the Elite 53 is the last Heat Slater we saw. Elite 56 is the last club figures that we saw. We never got a Leo Rush. Elite 70, I think, was EC3. Elite Series, what was it? Elite Series 7, 64 was the last Kurt Hawkins we saw until we got the ringside exclusive that was going to be coming out. Elite Series 65 is the last Eric Young that we saw, which was um, an amazing figure, by the way. All these figures are so great, man. It's just so damn unfortunate. that we, How do we never get more club figures? I can't believe we never got more elites of the club coming forward, but... Um, I know it's a sad day for AJ Styles. You know, what are they going to do with him? Uh, I guess he's going to be a singles act, which is okay, but uh, he, he's definitely not going to suffer anything from this besides not being able to chill with his best friends on television. 
but I feel like WWE's just been crazy with it, man. This year, we have released so much talent. There's so many figures that pro people probably need to go track down. I don't know how much they're going to be worth, but Luke Harper, Matt Hardy, and then you got all of these other, the Revival. I mean, there, there's so many freaking talents. So if you count already, all right, let's go ahead and count it up right now. Luke Harper, Matt Hardy, the Revival, that's two guys right there. Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, EC3, Leo Rush, Drake Maverick, Heath Slater, Eric Young, Kurt Hawkins, and I feel like I forgot one. Maybe I didn't forget one. Anyways, you know what, Brad? Anyways, let's just... Uh, I, I just want to put this up to you guys if you guys heard the news. What do you think about the news? I think it's insane, but I, I, the, I think the most interesting thing that I'm really excited to see or or what I'm very much wondering at this time is going to be what they're going to do about the ringside exclusive that is coming out very soon due to Kurt Hawkins being released. You know, what they're going to do about that situation. Are we still going to get that figure? Or are we going to get it without the interchangeable heads? Uh, what kind of changes are going to be made? That is what I'm most interested to see, but I do hate it for all the talent involved, and I do got to get my Leo Rush, you know, com you know, freaking finished. So, um, and if there's any other, you know, talent added to this, I will definitely be updating you guys and letting you guys know. But stock up on these figures, man. These are figures that we are no longer going to be getting in the future or in the near future, at least, because they'll have to leave and come back in a, in a long time from now. But Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys. Let me know what you think of all of this down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.